Entrust has a new WSTEP integration with PKI as a service that takes deploying the solution from days to hours. Here's how it's done. Entrust PKI as a service provides easy integration with a virtual machine that communicates with your PKI as a service in the cloud. It can all be easily managed from the PKI as a service portal. This video will follow the steps and highlight the necessary prerequisites and at the end, we can see the certificate issued to an endpoint. To begin, a root and a subordinate CA will need to be deployed in Antrust PKI as a service. When creating the subordinate certificate authority, ensure you enable the Active Directory services. That will enable the WSTEP profiles. Download the certificates from both the root and the subordinate. These will be required a little later on. If you don't know how to do this, review the videos available on YouTube. With our certificate authorities in place, the WSTEP gateway can be downloaded and set up. From the main PKI to service menu, select Enrollment Gateways and add Enrollment Gateway. Select your issuing certificate authority and type of Enrollment Gateway for WSTEP. Your gateway will appear in the list. Wait for the status of Enabled and click on it to open. Select Configure Enrollment Gateway for WSTEP. PKI as a Service Portal opens with the steps to set up WSTEP. This will lead you through and track your progress for tasks performed within the PKI as a Service Portal. Note the first step and the last step must be performed in your Windows domain. So for this reason, we cannot provide the status of progress. Clicking on the plus shows the detailed instructions on how to do the step. In the case of tasks performed outside of the PKI as a service portal, references are provided within the online help. Start by configuring your Windows domain. In our case, we have an Active Directory domain of ABC Corp with two subdomains of XYZ and Finance. Our example will set a group policy so certificates will automatically be enrolled and installed in either the local machine search store or the current user search store. A PKI as a service, service account needs to be created in the domain. Use the full name of PKI as a service service account with the user login name of PKI as a service. Set a password and ensure the password never expires. We will use this account and password when we set up the gateway. We are now ready to install the PKI as a Service Virtual Machine Gateway. In the PKI as a Service portal, select Step 2. You have a choice of VM to download, VMware, Azure, or AWS. In our case, we will select VMware. Agree to the license. You can click one of the options listed. Copy download link to copy the PKI as a service virtual machine download URL to your computer clipboard. You can provide this URL to your VMware vSphere infrastructure to automatically download the machine. Click download file to directly download the PKI as a service virtual machine from Antrust. Let's use the copy download link and within your vSphere environment, deploy the OVF template using the link we just copied. Start the gateway. You will be able to track the steps required to enable and set up the virtual machine. Once it connects to PKI as a service, you will be presented with an OTP that can be used to configure the virtual machine within the PKI as a service portal. Return to the PKI as a service portal and select option three, register PKI as a service virtual machine. Enter the one-time password being presented on the virtual machine. Remember, this code will change every 30 seconds. The registration status will be shown, and when complete, a success message appears. In the virtual machine, the communications will also be shown. To complete the configuration, provide the name and description. With the registration now complete, you can add the agent. From the side menu, select Virtual Machine Configuration. From the Actions area, select Manage Agent, Add Agent. 
Select WSTEP as the agent type. Complete the details including domain name, the username and password of the PKI service, service account we created earlier, in our domain, enter the DNS information, and select our issuing CA from the list of available certificate authorities. The pop-up provides you with the KT Pass command you will need for the next step. Open a command line in the domain controller and paste and execute the KT Pass command you just copied. You will be asked to set a password and the keys were created. Returning to the PKI's a service portal, click continue. When the agent is successfully deployed, a message will provide a URL for the group policy object. In the gateway, we can follow the progress and when complete, you will see the installed agent's W step. Pressing tab on the keyboard when viewing the VM will also switch to the W step tab. The WSTEP tab will now show the agent, the reporter, the polar are all running and the connectivity is now established with the domain. You will also begin to see the login where it shows the templates are now synchronized and available via the gateway. Returning to the PKI as a service portal, we see the new root AD has been added and we'll see the status change to synchronize by hitting the refresh. Select WSTEP Root Active Directories, Manage Certificate Templates, and the certificate templates will be listed. And to confirm all domains are listed, select View Discovered Domains. The discovered domains should reflect your environment. Our final step is to integrate the Windows domain. In your Active Directory environment, at the domain level, add a new group policy object with the name of PKI as a Service WSTEP. Edit the new WSTEP GPO. Navigate to the Security Settings, Public Key Policies, and Certificate Services Client Certificate Enrollment Policy. Here we enable this policy. We can now copy the Certificate Enrollment Policy URL from our W. Step Configuration in the Certificate Services Client, Certificate Enrollment Policy, we can now click Add, paste the URL copied from the PKI as a Service, and validate. Make the Antrust PKI as a Service Enrollment Policy the default, and click OK. And finally, we will edit the Certificate Services Client Auto Enrollment GPO and check all the boxes to enable Auto Enrollment. Repeat these steps to also enable the policy for users in client auto enrollment. It is now that we will also load the certificates for the root and issuing certificate authorities we collected at the beginning of this process. We do this in the public key policy section, import your root certificate authority certificate into the trusted root certificate authorities, and import your issuing certificate authority certificate into the Intermediate Certificate Authorities. Our final step is to create a new template. In the General tab, we set the policy including Validity Period and Renewal Period. In the Security tab, the group this template is available to can be identified. And in the Subject Name tab, the subject name format is Common Name. Back in the Gateway, we can see the list of templates and identify the certificate authority that can issue them. Once the template exists and is assigned to a group, your WSTEP auto enrollment should be operating after the policies update. Certificates will automatically be enrolled and installed into either the local machine certificate store or the current user certificate store. This can be verified by viewing the certificates issued to the client. We see it was issued by the Issuing Certificate Authority and it has a lifetime of one year, which reflects the policy that we set.